It's going into the middle of October. The days are getting colder. And as preventative care for the bees, I'm going to be relocating them for the winter. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, a modern homestead. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today we're working in the apiary. I have to move the bees, well I don't have to, I want to, to give these girls a better chance at survival through the winter months. It's uh, going into the middle of October. The days are getting colder, the nights are even colder than that. So we're going to head and we're going to be moving them. I'm going to be moving them into the bee barn. This little box originally was built to uh, contain my battery banks down below and my control center above for my inverters, my controllers and stuff for the solar powered uh, package when we were literally off grid a mile down the road over at Acorn Acres. I have a video showing all that set up uh, when this box was white and it had uh, that stuff contained in it. So go ahead and go over to uh, Acorn Acres channel and check out that video. In the meantime, when I built it, I built it double walled. You can see through the ventilation hole I have here that we have a sheet of plywood on the interior, a sheet of plywood on the exterior, and sandwiched in between is a sheet of uh, styrofoam insulation so this box is an insulated box right now the bee barn houses all of my beekeeping supplies my plans today are to put in a shelf right here and uh, a new base on which the beehive will set this hole right here it will be their access port going in and out of the beehive this is a south facing port so it'll be facing the winter sun so they'll be able to come out on warm days and uh, do their cleansing flights. Bees will not poop in the beehives. They're very clean animals. So what they do is they hold it in until it's warm enough for them to go do a cleansing flight. They'll come out here and poop and then uh, be able to go back into their hive. This port originally was accommodating the conduit from the standby generator I had installed. So let's get started and build that base. Okay, I'm gonna use the items I have on hand and I was looking at what I had and among my supplies is this, the best I could figure out what this is, it came with the, the whole setup I purchased, was uh, this could be a queen excluder, a homemade clean ex queen excluder. I'm not sure, but we gotta fix that. Uh, anyway, I am going to put this, I'm going to staple some of that leftover screen I have to the bottom of it to keep critters out and uh, I've marked right here where I'm going to cut a little groove to allow an entrance, a small entrance uh, for the bees to be able to pass through that little portal. So l let's get this cut first. Okay, I made that not too big, but then again, not too small. So the bees will be able to come in and go out of there. Okay, we got the screen attached. That way bugs can't get up and the bees can't get down through here to get into the rest of the bee barn. And the reason why I'm keeping this aerated, so airflow to go through, 
the bees have to have a way to get rid of uh, condensation that builds up in the hive and so you want some airflow going through the hive so let's put this in okay I got my top feeder cover on plus a board over the top of that uh, which has some ventilation in it so it'll allow the bees to vent some of that uh, condensation that would build up in the frames. So what I'm trying to do is create as small a space as possible for the bees to have to keep warm but I'm going to be helping them out this winter. Because the hive is uh, dwindled down smaller I want to give them a uh, a really good chance to survive the winter so I'm putting in uh, one of these little 40 watt light bulbs to create some heat for the cold days and nights and we're going to just put this heat up and allow them to uh, yeah just let that heat radiate right on up into the hive and let them take advantage of that heat so that part is done the next part is transferring the bees okay i got my smoker going and i got my bee equipment set up so we're going to go ahead and smoke the hive Very weak hive. The rest of these frames are uh, empty. I have the feeder. It's uh, this is three parts sugar and one part water, uh, so they don't have to work so hard at. Uh, making it honey so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the feeder right I'm gonna put this in here and turn this upside down right over the little hole and then those little bees can go in there and suck up the honey so they got heat warmth safety uh, I think they'll be okay for the winter. Let's close this up. Now I might modify this hole over here to uh, help the bees protect their colony a little bit better. Uh, there's one bee that found home uh, that uh, actually smelt the pheromones coming from the queen. So that's indicative that there is a queen in there. And the other bees over here, this hive, uh, these are the foragers coming back. They're finding the hive empty and they'll be able to find their queen because they'll have a bee come out to the entrance and fan its butt for the signal that that, that is home now. An interesting note with uh, honeybees and winter months is uh, the, the worker bees are all female. The queen obviously is a female. And she is the only one that produces fertilized eggs. Now, a worker bee will produce an egg, but that egg will only produce a drone, a male bee. It will not produce a female bee. The female bees are your worker bees. And those are the bees you want. Occasionally, you want to get some drones if you're producing a new queen to be able to... Um, fertilize that queen and once she's fertilized she's fertilized for life but with those drones the they'll raise a, a colony of drones on a, a part of a frame and they'll have drones around the hives now the drones don't do anything they just hang out until it's time to go uh, mate with a queen 
and uh, the uh, the worker bees ha even have to feed the drones. The drones don't gather. They don't do anything. They just sit around the hive and wait. Uh, so when the winter months come, the dearth hits, the worker bees take all the drones and they push them out of the hives and they die. So in the next spring, they'll raise new drones for um, the hive's sake uh, so a new queen can fertilize more, um, get fertilized and lay more eggs. So that concludes this video on setting up the beehives for winter. Uh, there's other methods which people use for beehives since I only have one. I'll do this method, uh, even up to four hives, I will do this method and put them in the bee barn uh, every winter instead of wrapping them like other people do. So stick with me, I have more videos coming. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys again. Bye bye. How appropriate. A giant pumpkin spider. He's huge.